These are body whacking dogs. But... Oh my god. <laughs> what is that though? Oh my god, it ripped off her fucking head and arm. What? That's a spine. Ew. That's a spine. That's a. Oh wait, you remember that character from SpongeBob uh, who was in the wheelchair? Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate. Ah, <laughs> this is so I remember. Funny. Hey everyone, this is Brandon. Um, today we're doing one of our one shots today, and this time it's Caron. Carry on. Ooh, a nice flash sound. This game is about you being this biomass. It's one little oh, thing. Oh, that's so gross. Ew. <laughs> you're inside this big facility, and you're just trying to escape. It's like a res yeah research facility. It's like a. These guys are terrified. Wow. Would you be terrified of that thing? I mean, I wouldn't be. I kind of signed up for this by researching it. I don't know. I was about to they say, know. like, how are these guys, like, it's the don't fuzz. like this thing's out? What they, kind of because he made a big bang? They can hear the, the slicks. The slick slaps. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey, Jerry, how you? Wait, do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> you have someone taking a shit a mile away. I hear it. Oh, no. And so as you can tell, you can, like, pick objects up. And all that, just like chuck them across the area. This will be useful like later on in the game. It's, it's kind of funny to watch, like comical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel oh like the movie for this. Yo, oh, the AIs are pretty funny too. And when you're hungry, make yeah. sure you get those legs. As you can tell, this game is very, very vile and gory. And uh, like, it looks like you grew a little bit. Yeah, every time you eat someone or people, you grow. Some, into... Sometimes it's detrimental, though. If you get too big, there's some things you can't do. That is true. Oh, no, you're too big. Oh, my God. Oh, it has teeth. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. God, this reminds me of the thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Hello, <God>. Jonathan. <laughs> you tried to leave me behind. You can't leave me. <laughs> you can't you... leave me, Jonathan. Are you making a Gorefield reference? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Waving his friend in front of his face. <laughs> You can't have this, Jonathan. What'd you do with my ashes, John? What'd you do with them? <laughs> Come here. Jonathan, I'm hungry. Odie was just a start, Jonathan. The lasting relationship. Yeah, but I found out about this game, like, a, I don't know when it was announced, but when Devolver Digital showed it off for the first time. God, I hate those transition noises. <laughs> But it's like very interesting. Like, I don't know, just something about being this big biomass just going around this facility, just it's a dream wreaking true. havoc. Is that what you always wanted, Brandon? Maybe. I mean, I'm. Don't I worry, like, tonight, I enjoy this game. Tetsuka monsters can't hurt you in your sleep. Ah, that up there. Go there. What is this? This is how you save, and this is also how you spread the biomass. Has teeth. Hmm, questionable that's, portal. That's the exit of the level. Imagine going through your own mouth. Um, I mean, some people are like that. So, whenever you get low health, you can go to those uh, areas that you spread your biomass at, and it'll put you back to full. Hmm, spaghetti might be ruined for me. Oh, most definitely. Spaghetti. Who would touch the my spaghetti? Imagine squidding spaghetti. Go with red ink. So one of the ways you can try to find um, other sources of your biomass is just roaring. Hmm, that's interesting. It's the mating call. So yeah, they have more pieces of your biomass and as you collect these pieces you gain more abilities oh some of these are locked until you have other abilities though such a strange concept in a fitting 
games, though. Well, it does kind of make sense to keep all your body parts separate, because they'll research. Yes, I'm sure if they want to uh, research different parts of you. I'd be kind of mad if they, you know, split me apart. I mean, yeah, who wouldn't be mad? If you were making, like, uh, three figures, would you do this research job? Um, three figures as in... Three, like, uh, like $100,000 a year or more. You'd have to pay me double that. Double that? No, you gotta... I am not working around a creature that can eat me by touching me. But you, you're under the insurance that it won't do this. Still not. This is proof that that doesn't work. No, no, no. You wouldn't know this yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm always scared of things breaking out. Like, uh... mm. oh my god, that's spaghetti. Spaghetti. You gotta say something. <laughs> Man, Italy's whack. Oh my god. Uh. No, I, I just lost my thought. Yeah, yeah. These kind, these are the kind of games I do actually enjoy a lot. Just, just games where you just terrorize. When I first saw this, I thought like uh, the map was kind of confusing, like the layouts and stuff like that. But it's actually really easy to understand once you play it. The ambient music makes me think of a, a horror movie. I guess it's, uh, I guess you could say sci-fi, but I'm thinking more like uh, if you ever saw it's a genuine fantasy horror. If you ever saw like John Carpenter's The Thing, that's a really good movie. As a similar thing. creature. Oh man. Oh man. Got that thing just launched out of there. Shoot everything that moves. Oh my god, the tentacles aren't the wheel of guns. <laughs> Let me eat you, Bobby. That one was kind of crunchy this time. <laughs> it sounded know. crunchy though. Yeah, it, mm. His bones snapped. <laughs> oh, he had a he had a fire his body. So that can happen. Oh. Yeah, with those save points as well. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Gotta forget. I lost my train of thought. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know why. It just looks so, it looks so interesting seeing all the freaking tentacles all over the place. Because as a way. Just... So are, are you like. Is it taking its time or is that you doing that? I'm doing that just to terrorize oh. the people. No, yeah, you can just. That, God, that's how you know you're having fun. <laughs> you kind of scared Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, are you trying to tell us something? Maybe I am. He likes slow, painful deaths. God forbid he becomes like the boss mastermind of some syndicate. <laughs> Let me feed you to my pet. Oh my god, it's everywhere! <laughs> oh my god. Let's start with the legs and work our way up. <laughs> if it actually talked like that too, I'd be kind of scared. I will take your legs first. I imagine like a demigorgon voice. It's like, Jonathan, I want pancakes. Like, you, your job is to make pancakes <laughs> for it to suppress its urge of like rampaging and eating people. <laughs> I require sustenance, John. <laughs> John. It won't eat you. It'll eat everybody else but you, and you'll be responsible. John. You'll probably what? die from guilt, though. John, where's the pancakes? Oh my god, you can kill people before you eat them. Oh yeah, you can like slam them against walls and stuff like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna live out my, fa my fantasies of being a monster to terrorize people. They should just like make more games like this, because I'm sure people just want to mess around like this. I, I know. I know it's like very demented in that stuff, but I mean, like, still, it's a bit interesting. With video games are the source of violence. That this is one of those games I'll look at. Oh, here we go. Interesting. Okay. We've released mustard gas. Shoot, arachnopticus. You get cobwebs, which help you pull levers. Oh no! 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 no. Part Ima imagine, imagine you're just uh, cooking breakfast and like you see a sh tentacle shoot through your window, just reach for the pancakes. Bro, I'd be so mad. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> like I, I just made those pancakes and this tentacle monster takes them. Do you mind, sir? Can I have your precious pancakes, please? Oh my god, it, it, if it talks like that, it's even more of a problem. <laughs> oh, so you can. 
Oh god, the firing! Oh god, they're getting- oh god, the AI getting smarter. They sent the thugs. <laughs> oh my god. Swerp. Oh, so now we really got threats to worry about. So, is your health bar that thing at the very top of the screen? Yes, it is. Okay, so I see it has regen on it. Yeah, you- It doesn't have regen, somebody. it's- you get more back as you eat people. Okay. Yeah, it fills up, like, the very top. Jeez, those guns do a number. I think... I think if you're thinking of flesh, guns with hurts. And all I'm hearing is the screams from, like, Happy Wheels. <laughs> Stop. Brandon. And that game's gory as well. Like, oh my god. I mean, there's such thing as, t there's there's such thing as, yeah, this is enough, it's just enough gore to get the th message across. So you think there should be a limit? Um, there's there's, there's such thing as too much gore in games, and like, but this just has just enough where it it makes sense and not just pointless gore. So what would you deem as just enough? Like when you kill something, yeah, that's gore, but like that's what I'm saying. There should be. It's well, when you kill something, you're going to get gore. Yeah. So like, what's enough? <laughs> Um, have you ever heard of the game Manhunt? Mm -mm. That game was gore, but it was like really pointless gore half the time. Yeah. I don't even mean like you did some really demented stuff in that game. That's like one of the games that was actually banned in America because it was just too much. So I'm looking for details. Like, were we plucking out eyeballs and putting them yeah, in jars? Like yeah, like spooning out eyeballs, chainsawing in the gut. <laughs> Like, okay. really nasty it's stuff. too far, like, like, straight serial killer stuff. Like, example, gotcha. example, like, okay, yeah, I like how they just, you eat two parts and that's it. Not like, and then talk about too much gore, will be like, you rip off <laughs> one body part at a time. Charles, Charles has a limit to the parts you can eat. No, like, Three? I- Three? Too many. Yeah. Two? Just, yeah, just, just enough. Yeah, but like, too much would be like, rip, like, you rip off each individual leg and arm and head and all that. And blood spews all over the place. Depending on the game, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, it depends on the game, but this is just enough for what the game is supposed to do. Well, it's because you're a giant biomass creature who's supposed to feed off people. Yeah. Then we're working with pixel graphics here. Yeah, the pixels kind of help it. Sure, if it was like actual, um. Bro, it's real graphics, like real looking people, then it's like, yeah, I think that would be a bit too much. So, darkness? Imagine censoring this game. I mean, you, I mean. So go up real quick, man. This is kind of like your progress in the levels. Seals breach, fifty percent. Biomass loss, one hundred percent. And then containment unit is other abilities. So like the one ability we just got, like the cobweb. Well, that's the biomass sample itself. Unit. Okay. So we gotta find that. We have one more ability to find. Hey, how you're reading with your tentacles? <laughs> you see your this finger? Right here? Status breached. Oh oops. Now nah, status like, should be. Oops. I imagine Endgame is like a, a group of people coming up to you to like produce a uh, horror movie, and you like sign up. So it takes out its tentacles and like signs a waiver. Ah, this is a really cool part. This right here, this explains the story a bit. So you walked off an airplane. That's an airplane. Shut the hell up, please. <laughs> we are government officials on very important business. Yeah, as you can tell, because they got a drone with them. Like, Who right the hell built this place? Go down a ladder just to go up again. A patch of antediluvian moss. Interesting. Hmm, yes, this floor looks like floor. Oh, is this an audit? <laughs> Don't do that to me. I have nightmares about audits now. <laughs> I can't stop seeing as an audit now. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting right there. Yeah, it's... Mm. That petrified mass down there? No, it's it's art. 
It's on the droid. Tube effects worms. A disorganized mass of bones and dry tissue. It's art. I wonder why this is here. Looks like there's a lot of cobwebs here as well. I mean, plant C4. Wait, I thought we were researchers. My guy. You're gonna blow up. Oh. That's kind of weird to watch. Yeah, it really is. Oh, that's what a tube was. <laughs> Boom. I'm gonna blow up this door with my ass cheeks. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, Goku probably could. Oh my god. Just hear an audible clap and the door caves in. This fight Stop. will turn into a nightmare oh. against the thing. So was that was that cutscene present time or or not cutscene? But was that like present time or past? To me, I would say it's past That's... because they just arrive in this one area, and it's like I don't know. It feels more like what what led up to them finding it and researching it. So we're speculating it's past. Yeah. Yeah. And at first, you would be figuring out it would be the uh, going like is it the past? Is it present? But later on, we'll be able to figure it out. Yeah. It's not meat slapping. That's all I hear. <laughs> meat slapping. Oh <laughs> Why did you have to describe it like that? Like when it walks on the wall, that's all it sound, sounds like. It sounds like you took a, uh, like a, like a T-bone steak and just slapped it on the wall. No. no. How, you ever, how does you ever, that sound? You ever drop noodles on the floor? Oh god. I can never think of noodles <laughs> now. <laughs> oh my god, I think Nathaniel did that before. <laughs> you did. <No. laughs> I just dropped my noodles and I was so... What's worse is that you did it on carpet. I was so defeated though. That look oh. on my face. I was like... That one dollar cup of noodles was your lunch. <laughs> like, I reached a level of doneness I've never reached before. That guy was going up the ladder normally. Hey, look, you can play puppetry. And now he's dead. Oh my god. Goodbye. Oh my god. Oh, 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 you ripped him in half. Ma nice. Imagine moving too fast to eat it properly. Imagine, just imagine being stopped by a wall. Oh, they cap it. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> take this one, and I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna rip you apart. Bro, I like how he's vomiting? watching you. Is you know, I guess, I guess you could compare this to a buffet. You have to hunt your food down. Just... Like what buffet do you hunt for your food? Well, I mean, like, grab it and then, like, put it in your mouth, but I guess you do need a plate first. I... That's what I'm like. <laughs> I'm sure the weirdos do that. Just I mean, like... I guess this depends on who you're hunting. <laughs> oh, my God. This monster, I absolutely love Brandon. Yeah, Brandon's an all you eat buffet. Wait a minute. Okay, that was too much. Danger. <laughs> Deep chaffs. Don't run. Don't walk backwards. Echo locate. And that's what I meant by, like, roaring of sorts. It finds, like, another hive. Are you playing Echo the Dolphin? Maybe. My god, you just triggered that part Why of my brain. Why is it purring? Ew. The tentacles purr. <laughs> we just see your friend pull to the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to cobble them if you can. Or her, I guess. Eh. Look, if if they have it's food in the end, I'm gonna tempt them. I'm gonna tempt them. Woo! 
Use her body whack with those. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What is that, though? Oh my god, it ripped off her fucking head and arm! What? That's a spine, ew. That's a spine! That's a- Oh, oh wait, you remember that character from Spongebob, uh, who was in the wheelchair? Yeah. Chocolate? Chocolate! Ah, <laughs> this is so I remember. Gross. Beat them, Chocolate. beat them with her spine. Stop, Charles. <laughs> ew. Did he get knocked out by her spine? Yeah. That's so disgusting. I did not know this. I did not knew- I, I Oh my know. god! <laughs> beat him with the spine. Oh my god, he's dead. Wait, wait, was, will it ruin your insides? Because the spines are kind of sharp. I mean, you're eating to begin with. But you can't even eat it, can you? Oh, there you go. I hate my ideas. Okay. Okay, Brain, I think he's dead. Nah. Oh, you were screaming for a second. <laughs> Hold on. to make sure my food's silent. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of Brandon right now. He's getting a little, uh... He's getting too much in the zone. He's being practical. He's actually thinking like a monster. <laughs> oh my god, I might actually be terrified if Brandon became a serial killer and knew where I lived. Oh. So this oh. is the game over screen. He goes nice red and... You just respawn your latest thing. Yeah, that's like far away anyways. Go get there, don't worry. Ah. Hey, hey Kevin. <laughs> now I'm going to eat them faster. I hope you're gonna eat faster. Oh my god, you just placed them again. <laughs> Brandon, did you enjoy Legos as a kid? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, I... I know this is like off topic, but it's like... I know when I'm like a lot older, like if I could have a single room dedicated to Legos, I would. So, you know what I did as a kid? See, what? I took like a bunch of ants in a little cup, and I put them next to a different ant and watched them fight each other. Huh? Interesting. I, I've never. Huh. Mortal Kombat. Exactly. I thought I was some kind of arena master. I was like, fight for my amusement. You know, as a kid, I used to take I used to take those bigger bugs and slowly take the legs off, and then their body parts, and see if they still live. Mm. I did that with a few bugs myself. I think a lot of kids have done that before. Yeah, I used to take beetles, rip their legs off, and see if they would still live. Yeah, that was a fun time as a kid. I think the worst I've ever done was watch a spider eat something. Really could just got them both at the same time. Barrel over them. He got what he wanted. I mean, yeah, it still works. I got my pancakes, John. <laughs> What if pancakes just flat humans to him? Uh, oh my god. To it, whatever it is. Hold on, go back down real quick. So, that diamond shows you the location of containment units. Hmm. It's got I like a marker for him. I did not know that. Honestly. Kind of cryptic, but cool. Going up the ladder? See, now we get actual. Oh god. Imagine the monster like screaming boobies. <laughs> Dude, it's like in the dark night years. Boobies. <laughs> and then a tentacle comes out. Oh my god. Damn. It's here. Run. <laughs> the people who researched you were perverts, so you took after. Oh my god. So you're like a parrot, and since the guy researching you only ever watched porn out in front of you, <laughs> that's all you can replicate. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm gonna chill on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty, actually. Ooh. All you hear is Oni Chan for the okay. cool shadows. <laughs> why, why are you watching that? <laughs> Yo, Nathaniel, I, I have several questions. You're, you're trying to get blacklisted, my guy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, these guys are uh, shields. They're capping now. Yeah, as you can tell, you can't really eat these guys at all. See, they have this thing called body armor. Oh, they're too strapped. And they're already dead, of course. Well, now you can do like uh, puppies and kittens and just teeth. I mean, we. Oh wait, it'll make a good weapon, I guess. We break it from the purse. Oh, they can also form shields in front of them. Wow. You break it from the purse. I would love a pet tentacle monster thing. I think everyone would. I mean, some people want it more than others because I think you really like tentacles. Yum. And there it is. 
Zephyria. Damage vent covers the wooden walls. So now you can attack things. A diarrhea. <laughs> How does that? Zephyria? Uh, xylophone? <laughs> the hell is xylophone and all wood doors break? <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Why does it sound like something like a, a samurai master would do? I'm the xylophone master. Look how long it is now. Like, my god. You're double oh, yeah, HP got... now. Dude, that is a lot of noodles. Yeah, it is a ton of noodles. And I can break things open. You can't stop me. This guy would make a great Hollow Knight boss fight. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> Parry them tentacles. You don't parry in a hollow night, you just dodge and pray. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There's no parrying in hollow night. I was thinking of uh, bouncing off a of thing. That's called nail bouncing. Yeah, I was hoping you could do the same with an attack coming towards you. Ooh, nice attack. Blood. Ooh, wow. Oh. So, yeah, you won't be able to access down there until you get your underwater worm transformation. Yeah. Hydromorphosis. Oh no. Is that one? <laughs> Just breaking everything out of anger. God. Like, there's Ooh, almost no reason for half of this wood to be here. Support memes. Out of wood, supporting metal. He is in a mine shaft. Still. Am I or am I not? It's time. My mouth is open. If the door spoke to me like that, I don't know if I'd be okay. It's okay, you just gotta go through it and you'll come out eventually. Come forward, John. My mouth is open. <laughs> Won't you stop? Ew, in? there's a mouth in your closet and ask for pancakes. John, I want pancakes. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> why, why did we think of pancakes for this? What? <laughs> I don't know. Pancakes are the plot source of many different plots, so I was just like, oh, why not? I mean, why not waffles? So if you do 100% the area, it'll say status destroyed. You know, when you said destroy, the first thing that came to mind was the story about destroy. Remember that show? That was a weird show. Ooh, look, wood. Oh my Ow. god. Ow. Come up and jam. Oh my god. Space Jam is an isekai, and I will not say otherwise. Hmm. I mean, it has. You're not wrong, though. Hey, he's not wrong. He's not right wait, either. Wait, wait, wait. Jimmy Neutron and Timmy Turner. Power Hour. That is also. Wait. Is that an isekai? It, does that count? No, it's Dimension Hopping. No, because uh, no, one, one of them was isekai first. So. And then they just jump back and forth afterward. I think they were both isekai at the same time, actually. Yeah, they swap places. Let me eat you, sir. What is the fence coach, John? John, I can't open the door. Oh my god. Oh god, he had gun. You gotta be careful with this one. Try to lure him under that board and see if you can just knock him out. <laughs> or just take him under. <laughs> just take him under the floorboards. I must eat you, John. Thank you for the sacrifice, John. But the kid's just tossed. I got we got Wait, they don't have guns. That doesn't spare you. One at a time. You get your turn. He's slowly doing it too. <laughs> Brandon, why? You don't. Oh dear. God. Brandon. We're gonna have to jump cut some of this. <laughs> I don't know all this is okay for YouTube. I'm gonna be honest here, Chief. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrifying. There's a giant wall of flesh right here. I remember this boss in Terraria. Stop. Jeez. The mouth's up there, not down there. 
You're gonna leave him? Brandon, you're just gonna- You left him alone and killed all his friends! <laughs> you're sadistic. <laughs> yeah, that laugh wasn't right. Oh, uh, yeah. There's time- there's a time to laugh. For everything, but not now. Alright. What, what? That just takes you back to the military junkyard. Any fast travel. Fast. Okay, so we have hit the 30 minute mark, so we should be wrapping it up soon. Well, right. Well, I think probably this is a good place to stop than any. Because yep. I think more story aspects will start to come up soon. Okay. So I'll like leave the, it right here. Would you like to see our audience off? So, I hope you guys enjoyed whatever <laughs> this biomass is. It's more, it's, it's And Brandon's sadistic side. Yeah, that you'll probably never see again. Depending on what game we play. But, I yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, punch that bell, as usual. Just like full on punch it. Break your computer. Um, yeah. And. See you next time. See you guys next time. See ya. Later.